In this video, let us learn regarding some of the special methods of preparation of aldehydes. Special methods of preparation of aldehydes. Aldehydes can be obtained by different methods. There are some general methods of obtaining aldehydes and ketones. Means both aldehydes and ketones obtained by similar kind of a process just by changing the reactants. Now here we are going to discuss only about the special method of obtaining only the ketone. The popular method only the aldehyde. The popular method being Rosenman's reduction. Popular one being Rosenman's reduction. So for this, the starting material is acid chloride, also called acyl chloride. Acid chloride, also called acyl chloride, will be our starting material. So let us see how this can be obtained. R C O C L is acyl chloride or the acid chloride where R can be an alkyl group or the allyl group as the case may be. Now this when treated with hydrogen in presence of palladium as the catalyst supported over barium sulfate. What happens? One hydrogen from here H2 we have written. So one hydrogen from here will react with Cl comes out as HCl. One more hydrogen will take the place of Cl. So therefore we land up in the formation of the compound R C H O. So corresponding aldehydes are obtained. So along with aldehyde, we also obtain HCl. Now let us take up the example of a compound for acid chloride. Let us replace R with CH3. We need to replace R with an alkyl group if we want to obtain alkyl aldehydes. If we want to obtain, that means aliphatic aldehydes if we need, then we need to replace R with an alkyl group. If we want to obtain aromatic aldehydes, obviously R should be replaced by an aryl group. Now first let me take up the example with an aliphatic aldehyde obtaining. So therefore I am replacing R with CH3. So CH3COCl. The name of this compound is acetyl chloride. The name of this compound is acetyl chloride according to trivial nomenclature. Because there are two carbon, the name is ethanoyl chloride. Its IUPAC name will be ethanoyl chloride. So, ethanoyl chloride or acetyl chloride is treated with hydrogen in presence of palladium supported over barium sulfate. What happens? Hydrogen replaces Cl and the Cl which is coming out will react with one more hydrogen. So, therefore, we will end up in the formation of RCHO. So that means we will end up in the formation of acetaldehyde as our well aldehyde. Acetaldehyde is also called ethanol according to IUPAC nomenclature. Along with that, HCl also comes up. Now, if we want aromatic aldehyde, as I already said to you, then we need to replace the R with an aryl group. 
So let us replace R with aryl group. So let me replace R with C6H5 which will be the aryl group. The name of this compound will be C6H5COCl is benzoyl chloride. Benzoyl chloride itself is its IUPAC name as well as the trivial nomenclature. That's a sanctioned name so we can continue to use this compound by the name as benzoyl chloride. Benzoyl chloride when treated with hydrogen in presence of palladium as the catalyst supported over barium sulfate, the product obtained will be C6. H5CHO that is benzaldehyde. This itself is its trivial as well as IUPAC nomenclature. So we landed up in the formation of an aromatic aldehyde along with HCl. So this is how we will be able to obtain aldehyde from Rosenmans reduction. Rosenmans reduction is a very important process of obtaining aldehydes. Very frequently it will be asked in the exam. Hope this video helps.